everyone, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my carrot cake today. It's really simple. This is the ingredients you're going to need. This is just for the cake itself. I'm going to do a separate um, icing. Um, so these are the ingredients for the cake. So we need two eggs, um, some olive oil, plain flour, light soft brown sugar, uh, ground nutmeg, um, cinnamon, ground cinnamon, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder, some butter and two medium sized carrots. So to start off, in a bowl I'm going to combine 125 ml of olive oil, um, 110 grams of light gold, golden brown sugar and two eggs and just whisk, whisk them up. So you're going to need 90 grams of plain flour and add that to the wet mix. So I've mixed the flour in there, now I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and mix them in. So now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. So I'm going to grate my two carrots now. So I actually only grated one carrot, I just thought one carrot was definitely enough. So I'm going to add that to the mixture and stir it in. So that's how it is when it's all mixed in. Um, I forgot to mention, preheat the oven at 200 degrees and yeah, I'm going to grease my tin. I'm just going to put it in a loaf tin. You could put these in sort of um, cupcakes, um, little cake tins or but I'm just going to put it in like a loaf. Um, and then I'm going to bake it on 200 degrees for 25 minutes. I actually forgot to add um, a, a quite important item which was um, walnuts or you can add pecans but I've only got walnuts so so yeah it's already in the tin so I'm just going to sprinkle them over um, yeah this is quite an important item so just pop them over and I'm just going to get the spoon and sort of put them in just so the cake still rises So while the cake's cooking in the oven, I'm going to get on with the cream cheese that goes on the top. Um, so what you need is 125 grams of cream cheese, I'm going to use Philadelphia, and 5 heaped tablespoons of icing sugar, and combine those. So it's just starting to combine a bit better. And then I'm going to just put this in the fridge while the cake's cooking. So I've just taken it out of the oven and now I'm going to let it cool down for about 10 minutes. 